Thank you, dinosaurs. Thank you for dying. Why? Because it took a while, but you made oil, gas, and we need that. Why? Because I need 700 horsepower. 707. The Dodge Hellcat SRT is freaking amazing. You may not like it, but that engine, holy crap, 707 horsepower. Most of us will never have one. Kyosho decided to give us one. Yeah, it doesn't use anything that the dinosaurs gave us. Well, maybe plastic. That's from oil. But this electric version is detailed enough to make you forget it's not the real car. It doesn't have the sound, the roar, the anger. But it's electric. It's easy. It's ready to run. Underneath that Jay-Z approved all black everything is an electric EP phaser chassis. That's code for shaft drive, a battery down the side. Kind of an interesting electronic system we'll get to in a second, but it's pretty basic. You won't have any problems with it. You're going to be running on the road and just having some fun. As a true ready to run, you'll get a battery, a slow charger. I always say that, but yeah, it's a charger just for the name charger being in the box. And two sets of tires, which we like. You can get grip or even the drift tires that come in there to kick up the fun and the sideways action. Kind of to make you feel like you have 707 horsepower. One of the downsides of on-road is that you have to stay on the road. There's no off-road fun here. But you can still have fun. This car goes to about, I would say, 25, 30 miles an hour out of the box. Maybe a little bit slower, but enough to make you feel fast. Here's the real interesting part of this kit. This is the Orion D-Drive 2700 kilovolt brushless system. It's an all-in-one, which means the speed control and electronics are together. We're not sure we're into that. There's a lot of heat in one package. Why do you want those two together? It's sort of like an all-in-one DVD surround sound refrigerator microwave. One breaks, they all break. The shocks are quality shocks. You get aluminum caps there, and they do a good job for drifting. I mean, this isn't a race car. They don't have to be crazy full of factory aluminum, but obviously you can upgrade everything on this car, uh, even those terrible fixed links. That means you can't adjust any angles of the suspension, but at least it has links, I guess. We're always a little bit torn when it comes to on-road cars, especially ready to run. It really limits where you can run. Yes, the body's beautiful. It's accurate. Uh, maybe the tires don't match the scale exactly. We get it. You can buy scale-looking tires still. But for now, gas is really cheap. $2.60 in California at the time of this. But guess what? It's going to go back up. And 707 horsepower V8 crazy cars are going to be like dinosaurs. Extinct. The full review of this car is in issue 19 of the RC Magazine. Go to our website. Do what this graphic is going to tell you to do.